Carly Canavan of the field hockey team joining us here on Media Monday. And uh, let's start with the big news. You just found that out. Uh, we just found that out as well. Any 10, um, you know, freshman of the week, rookie of the week, however they word it these days. <laughs> uh, so can you just talk about what that means to you? Because this is probably something you're just figuring out as well. Um, it's definitely a great accomplishment. Um, you know, I've, I've worked hard these last couple weeks. We had a great game against Stonehill, so I think that definitely contributed to that. I mean, I play with a great team, so, I mean, it's not just me. It's the whole team. And, um, you know, a, a great win against Stonehill, a top-five team in the country. Uh, and I know this this is a team that hasn't really been that great, hasn't won many games the last couple of years. So, you know, you're winning a couple more games this year, and then that win against the top-five nationally ranked team in Stonehill, a big, you know, benchmark win right there. Mm-hmm. So what was – you you girls must have been pumped. It was a great feeling, yeah. Um, huge turning point in our season, you know. Um, coming into this program, I knew that, you know, the last couple seasons have been rough. Um, but, you know, seeing the team, I knew that um, when we walked into preseason, we were going to make a change this year. Um, had a slow start this season, but, again, that Stonehill game was huge for us. It was so exciting, such a turning point, and hopefully we'll carry that momentum through the finish of our season and see some playoffs. And in comeback fashion, you were you got down two nothing to Stonehill. So, um, you know, why was the, the you know the team's attitude? It, it could be easy against a team that is you know one of the best teams in the country, and you get down, it could be easy to just roll over and say they're better than us. But right. you know, if, if mounted that furious th- uh, three goal comeback, so you know, what was it like to see the team all rally together and have that happen? Right. Um, so we had a timeout, um, and then it just kind of fired us up. Our captains got us going, seniors got us going, and from there we just walked out onto the field, knew we could do it, and just put the ball in the back of the net and came out with that victory. And uh, you came forth with a hat trick. Um, is there one goal? I mean, which, which goal is the biggest? Because you got that, that first goal, the second goal ties, and the third goal wins. It's all... Very big, you can argue, but does one stick out for you? Um, definitely the last goal. Um, it was a 1v1 with the goalie. Um, at that point, I knew if you know, I got it in the goal, we were going to walk out with a huge win. So in those couple seconds, there was a huge amount of pressure. But, I mean, once it happened, it was a great feeling. And uh, can you talk, what goes through your head with those, with those 1v1s? Is it uh, just because really has to, uh, you know, as you said, a lot of pressure knowing that you could win the game right there. Right. Um, so, I mean, I got the ball and I was thinking, you know, like, oh my God, like, I can't mess this up. Like, super nervous, but, you know, I just have to remember the basics. I pulled a little bit to the right and then just lifted it over the goalie and it rolled right in. All right. Now, uh, going forward, still have a lot of, lot of time left um, fighting. Just uh, we looked this morning half a game out of being in any 10 playoff right. position, which would be huge for the program. So going forward, yeah. Uh, couple games, couple winnable games, and if you, uh, you know, if you can play with Stonehill, you can play with anybody, so uh, what's the attitude of the team as you try to get that playoff spot? Um, I think we're just going to take one game at a time. Wednesday we have Bentley. They're a very strong team, so we're going to walk in Wednesday with the same momentum that we left with that Stonehill, and hopefully come out with another win and just take it game by game, and I think we'll see playoffs. Uh, and you know, there's a lot on a freshman's plate, especially when they play a fall sport, because, you know, you're coming in college is new, mm-hmm. and there's classes, and then there's um, sports right away as well, and, you know, having to make all those adjustments fast. Can you just talk about what that was like for you? Um, well, we came in preseason, you know, double sessions, the lift, um, all the team stuff, and that was already busy, and then you throw in classes on top of that the first week of September, and the first month it was crazy, you know, very stressful, but... I feel like I'm in a good uh, rhythm now and balancing everything very well. So, you know, it's pretty good. All right, we've asked everybody this on Media Monday today and, you know, ever since this, uh, it's been a thing. Uh, can you just share something a little obnoxious, maybe off the wall about yourself, something that not many people are going to know about you? Um, I am the baby of a huge family. I'm actually the youngest child of eight. Youngest of eight? Wow. Mm-hmm. So youngest of eight, big family. Mm-hmm. Uh, This is your Northeast 10 Field Hockey Rookie of the Week. Carly, thank you for joining us here on Media Monday.